You'll hear stories of people using them 50, 60, 70 times and sharing with multiple people. That's a worst case scenario. One Clark County Health Officer Eric Yazel believes is avoidable. The thing I always stress is people who use IV drugs are going to use no matter the source. And so if we can uh, provide clean sanitary conditions, that's a public health win for everyone. Since starting the needle exchange program last January, public health nurses have handed out more than 32,000 needles. In return, drug users have turned in close to 20,000. When somebody is in the place where they're ready to uh, to get help, they trust our public health nurses to get pointed in the right direction. In addition to guiding participants toward treatment, nurses must also treat diseases like Hep C. Clark County had 321 confirmed cases in 2017. That's up from 270 in 2016. Yazel says the increase means more people are getting tested. You know, I know while those numbers may be a little difficult to interpret, we actually view that as a win as well. So as officials enter their second year, the goal is to double down, build trust, and hopefully extend the program's hours to Monday through Friday. A lot of times our hours aren't the most convenient to them and things, so we need to get out in the county and try to reach out more and make sure that anybody has, who is interested in using the syringe program has the availability to do so. Morgan Lentis, WLKY News.